to uh, alleviate the problem of slow convergence of the newton raphson method uh, on on equations with on functions with multiple roots uh, what we do is we develop this uh, modified newton raphson method and the modified newton raphson method is based on the newton raphson method uh, let's let's recall here that the newton raphson method says xi plus 1 equals xi plus uh, f of xi over f prime at xi. That's the newton raphson method. And uh, so what we can do then is define a new function uh, u of x, say let Let's let's switch colors here. Uh, let u of x equal uh, f of x over f prime of x. And the reason we do this is because of a of an interesting property that has been shown that the first derivative or that the the function itself f of x goes to zero goes to zero goes to zero before uh, uh, before yes before or faster before f prime of x does and that is advantageous because if f of x goes to zero before f of prime of x does then we'll have this numerator be zero and the denom before the denominator is zero so we don't we don't have uh, that problem so uh, we'll be in good shape and and so then what we do is we we want to use this new method new uh, function u of x and we do the newton raphson method on it so we're going to do the newton raphson method on this so we're going to say x uh, let's see there we go switch back to red here x i plus one equals uh, because the 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 uh, the roots of this equation are the same as the roots of, of of f of x. The roots of u of x are the same as the roots of f of x, and so we say uh, x i plus one equals x i plus uh, u of x over uh, u prime of x. All right. So uh, what we're going to have to do to be able to do this is we're going to have to take the derivative of this uh, of this function u of x. So since u of x is equal to f of x over f prime of x, so let's say then we're going to go u prime of x. u prime of x, it, that is going to equal to okay f of x. So we can we can use the uh, the rule here the the. Uh, the differentiation rule for for quotients, and so we go the uh, if I remember it right, uh, the bottom times the derivative of the top minus the top times the derivative of the bottom all over the bottom squared. That's that's how I remember it. So let's let's try that. So the uh, the bottom f prime of x times the derivative of the top f prime of x uh, minus the top f of x times the derivative of the bottom. I'll be f double prime of x all over the bottom squared. That, so that that'll be f prime of x quantity squared. So that'll be uh, u of x uh, or u prime of x, excuse me. And then we can plug this uh, result back into here. So we can plug this. We can plug this result back into here and uh, simplify and write everything in terms of f of x and so what we get when we do that is uh, and, and, and then plug it in and, and use it in this equation so that gives us x i plus one equals x i minus f of x i times f prime of x i all over f prime 
at xi quantity squared minus f at xi times f double prime at xi. All right. So that is the the modified secant method. So this is the formula for the modified excuse me not the modified secant method modified newton raphson method okay so this is the modified newton raphson method and uh to get an idea just just intuitively realize why this converges faster well uh one of the biggest reasons i would say that it converges faster if you just think about it is that we not only use information from the first derivative but we also use information from the second derivative the first derivative contains information about the uh, slope uh, whereas the second uh, derivative contains information uh, excuse me the second derivative second derivatives right here whereas the second derivative contains information about the curvature and so we're, con we're we're using information about the function itself the slope and the curvature and that gives us a more uh, more quick convergence because we we have a better idea of how to follow the function so that's just sort of an intuitive notion of uh, why the newton raphson method uh, converges faster than the regular uh, the modified newton raphson method converges faster than the regular newton method newton raphson method uh, there is also this problem and let's let's just put a point down here is normally 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 when there are not when no multiple root The Newton Raphson, the new regular uh, Newton Raphson method converges faster. Well, <laughs> not converges faster. It is is better. Is better than modified Newton Raphson and the reason for this is because it's less complex and so it requires uh, less uh, less evaluations and less steps so it even though the Newton the modified Newton Raphson tends to converge uh, faster than the regular Newton Raphson method when we talk about convergence what we're talking about is the number of steps that the method uses to converge and the the thing that we forget sometimes when we get a method that converges faster is if you have to make more computations per step then it might not necessarily be better to have a method that converges faster and that is the case when we're comparing the Newton Raphson method to the uh, uh, modified Newton Raphson method on uh, on regular problems without multiple roots and so this isn't just a hammer that you want to pull out uh, every time no matter what uh, there is there is some sacrifice that we have to make uh, when we do this. Now I'll just note very quickly here as the book does and they give a formula for it there's also also uh, a modified and, and I need, need to be careful I'll just call it a multiple root secant method So there's also a method for mul for for finding multiple roots uh, that that's a modification of the secant method, uh, just as this is a modification of the Newton Raphson method, uh, using similar concepts and um, and so that just uh, it's just good to be aware that that exists uh, and and the equation uh, for that I can give it to you here is actually the the equation for that is uh, x i plus 1 equals x i 
minus u of xi times xi minus 1 minus xi all over u of xi uh, excuse me, u of x i minus 1 times or minus u of x i so that is the the um, the equation for the uh, multiple root secant method and it uses this same uh, this same modification this u of x i to avoid the problems of dividing by zero the problem of dividing by zero so that is uh, an introduction to the modified Newton-Raphson method and what we do when we have multiple